we arrived in Vietnam. Uh, the flight went very smoothly. It was, kind of, it was like a four hour flight. Yeah, a little fuzzy here. Um, yeah, it was kind of a long flight, but very, very hot when we arrived there. I feel like it was kind of temperate and a little bit cloudy, but Taiwan like very was, mild in Taiwan. Taiwan was very temperate. And then I guess we must have flown south to, so we, we arrived in Ho Chi Minh City. Are we calling it Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon? Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City. The is official it? name is Ho Chi Minh City. Okay. The former name of the city was Saigon. And there is still a district within Ho Chi Minh City which people frequently refer to as Saigon. Totally missed that. Okay, so we took the taxi from the airport to the hotel. It cost like 10 bucks. We were kind of like, so we, it was a really early day and we were still like adjusting to the jet lag. So because Ryan had such like a, a good schedule for us and he just kept us going to like this exciting thing and this next exciting thing, that set us like really quickly on the right time, even though it was a 12 hour time difference, that um, pretty much kicked our jet lag in the butt from the get go. So if you can have someone get there and, and keep, have you busy, keep you busy, I, that's the way to go for, for adjusting to the jet lag, definitely. I will say, like I do remember distinctly, we got into the room in Ho Chi Minh City and just sitting there looking at each other and finally I think we both said at roughly the same time if we don't go outside in the next 20 minutes we're gonna we're just gonna hide in our hotel room all day all week so Um, that part of that was because we were tired and jet lagged and a little bit overwhelmed I remember that taxi ride and we were looking out the window and it was just like hustle and bustle and so we were passing all of the morning markets on Mm -hmm. the way into town and it's just like a sea of people on motorbikes um Mm-hmm. It's just everything is moving. Ho Chi Minh City is an incredible place. It yeah. is one of the most vibrant, energetic places that I have ever been or heard of. Yeah. We got to the hotel, we kind of relaxed for a little while, and then we got ourselves up and out. We went to find a pho place, pho 2000. So that was like our big hike because there was... Um, so I think it was it was between one and two miles. We actually we walked all over Ho Chi Minh mm-hmm. City. We did. Um, we didn't take. We have some weird problem with taking taxis unless we absolutely have to. Well, so we probably could have gone to more places had we taken taxis. But we walked. We wrote. We both really like walking, and there was just so much to see that we could walk to that we just really didn't get around to to seeing the non-walkable areas. So it was really awkward because. The pho place was actually upstairs. So there was like a sign outside, but you had to go through a coffee shop slash juice bar. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't obvious at all. And you had to go to the back of it and then up the stairs to get into the pho place. It was a little bit confusing. Like once you know it's there, it's not a big deal at all, but it was a little bit confusing to find. By the end of our trip, this wouldn't have been an issue at all. But being the first place that we went to, this was a little bit, it took I think us we, like five minutes. I think minutes. we went in and out of the coffee shop a few times and we may have finally asked someone and they directed us to the stairs in the back. In America, you want to go eat pho, you go to a pho place, chances are it's open from like nine until nine or 10 o'clock oh, at Lord. night. Nobody in the US would eat pho for breakfast. Yeah, pho in Vietnam is a breakfast food. Mm-hmm. We were lucky that we went to this place and it was very big and open all the time. It was still before noon, I think, at this point. But I think they were open all day. Were they, was I think, open all day? I think that they had a fair bit of like foreign traffic. Mm-hmm. But what we ran into later on in the trip is in certain parts of Hanoi, like we couldn't get pho past a certain point in the day. Mm-hmm. And most of the food is actually street food. And the street food is there at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner and not and in then between not in between and then after dinner you have like these I'll call I'll call it like drunk food like snack little food. snack yeah, food like popping up treats that pop up here and there and so I'm I look forward very much to going back to Vietnam someday with the realization that when we're eating breakfast we need to wake up and hustle and For get breakfast out time. when the Vietnamese are eating breakfast because that's when we'll find right. like the food just like the the tables and the cart they just like appear out on the mm-hmm. street and you gotta go get it and then they disappear because we you know and I remember we had we like where to go <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about this more later but I remember we had fall one morning in Hanoi and we yeah we got there right <laughs> as they were ready to close up like probably the chairs like 10 were 30. The chairs were evaporating around us. Right, and we got up, and I think like if we had turned around as we were walking away, it would have just been gone. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then we went to one of the massage places um, not too far from our hotel. It was one of our favorite parts of Vietnam is that the massages are so affordable yep. and you can just go and get them and we certainly did. Then we went to dinner at a place called Huang Lai and after right. that we went back to the room to fall asleep. So that was Valentine's Day 2016.